Hello, magical butterflies. This is X Tina from Butterfly Intuition Divine Guidance. I do hope this finds you having the most magical day, night, or afternoon. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I post a new video. If you're interested in purchasing a guidance reading or a guidance session from me, one of the decks I created or the Twin Flame, ne Fl Twin Flame Music deck I co-created with my soul sister, connecting with me on Facebook, following me on Instagram, reading and subscribing to my blog, joining my Patreon, sending an energy exchange of a donation, all of my information is below. Just so you know, my Instagram is at Butterfly Intuition. That is the only Instagram account that I have. I do offer story readings through my Instagram that you can purchase. Just click on the link tree and the information will be there. They're posted within 24 to 72 hours after purchase and they're posted in my story where I will tag you so you know when it's posted. I am offering a special in my Etsy shop for the month of October. It is a Divine Butterfly mini love reading. It's a quick energy check-in on your love connection just to see what the overall energy is for you and your person. It's an 11-minute pre-recorded reading, so if you're interested, you can purchase that in my Etsy shop for $11.11. I felt guided to just do an energy check-in on the collective for love, so this will be general. This can apply to all types of love connections whether you resonate with a label or you don't and all types of scenarios um, I'm gonna be using a spread that I found on Pinterest it's called the magic month ahead by Emerald Lotus divination so use your own discernment when watching this video please only take the message or messages that speak directly to your soul and what doesn't speak directly to your soul, release it and let it fly. First, we're going to start with what is an important theme for the month of October or whenever you're watching this because my readings are intended to be timeless. So the deck I'll be using for this is the Oracle of the Unicorns by Cordelia Francesca Brabs. So what is an important theme? really just what the current overall energy is with love so they want me to start with the bottom of the deck and we have compassion be gentle with yourself forgiveness will set you free see the light in yourself and others so the message is very simple to have compassion for yourself and for your person whether the two of you are together separated wanting to reconnect, not wanting to reconnect, having compassion, being able to give forgiveness to yourself, to them, to even past relationships that will help close the cycle. Finding the compassion to see things through their perspective, for, for them to see things through your perspective is going to help bring in the energy of leadership to both of you in this connection. So this card is green. I'm immediately just feeling healing. So step into your leadership, share your message, inspire and empower others. So I feel you have a message. There's something you have learned from this connection that you want to share either with people publicly or just in your private circle. So take leadership on what you want to share and get that message out. And when it comes to your connection, the energy is very innocent. There's an innocence. There's something that's being illuminated to both of you at this time. Take time to play, nurture your inner child, live with a childlike sense of wonder. So really just connecting to your inner child, especially if you're going through healing of wounds and trauma of the past. Taking time to play means just taking time for yourself, taking time to stop and smell the roses, 
and really get into that childlike energy of believing in magic. Remember when you were a child and you believed things were possible? You have to get back into that mindset. That is going to help you receive what's meant to be when it comes to love. Be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon. So what I'm feeling, because I'm just drawn to the outfit she's wearing on this card, I'm really just feeling between Halloween and Christmas, there could be some type of gift that is coming to a select few of you in the collective. This could be a gesture, a crystal being given. This could be an offer. This could even be a ring for those who are getting ready to go into that commitment of engagement, but of course it's going to be different for everyone. But in order to receive what's meant for you in love, you have to be open to receiving. You have to be allowing of it to come in. And you also have to have a friendship with your person in addition to being lovers. So seek out your soul family, surround yourself with positive people, spend more time socializing. So I'm getting a couple messages with this card. So building a friendship with your person is important. You two want to be each other's rock, shoulders to lean on, shoulders to cry on, someone to walk beside you in life, being each other's best friend. But of course, you also need to call in your soul tribe to be around people who do uplift you, who are positive, who are not in any type of ego energy of fear, doubt, envy, negativity, toxicity. And if you have been in the energy of the hermit mode, you're really going to get the sense to come out of your hibernation that it's time to be more social because you may have felt like you needed to take some time away to pull your energy back to pull yourself back and to really just do this healing, but you have done so much healing that it's time to start living your life again to get that creative juice flowing in your life. Next, we're gonna get into a secret that will unfold this month. So this is a secret that will unfold or may unfold in the month of October when it's supposed to or whenever you're watching this. The deck I'm using for this is the Magic of the Unicorn Oracle Cards by Diana Cooper. So go with the flow. Number 17, which equals an 8. Relax and trust. Accept what is happening. So you know something is coming. There's some type of revelation that's coming. And what you're being advice to do is to just go with the flow to not get in your head about it to not overthink to really just trust and accept that what is happening is meant to happen and with mahatma energy 29 which equals an 11 and 11 is the number of new beginnings build your light body accelerate your ascension so you know this secret is coming so building your light body Accelerate your ascension, meaning just stay in the energy of receiving. Stay in the energy of allowing. Because what this secret is bringing you is soul healing. Align with your essence. See your true colors. So what I'm really getting is that there's some type of healing that is coming in love. There's some type of message. There's some type of reconnection that's coming that is going to allow both you and your person to have that conversation that could not be had in the past. And in order for this secret to come out, for this heart-to-heart -heart conversation to happen, for what is meant to happen, to illuminate into the 3D, with the pool of Christ light, 28, which equals a 10, you want this new cycle, you want this fresh new start, open your heart and spread unconditional love. So I feel Maybe by the next full moon that we have in October, which I believe is happening around the 20th. Let me see. I have it written down. Yeah. October 20th is when we have the full moon in Leo. So that could bring about the confidence to have this conversation be had between the two of you. 
So what you want to do is you just want to be a beacon. You want to call in this energy. So be an inspiration, light the way for others, close the cycle by taking what you have learned, the knowledge, the knowledge of what you have learned, take it with you to grow and to have this new beginning and to be victorious and not allow the past energy to repeat itself because I feel both you and your person have learned a lot and it's time to really just get into the energy of calling in this new beginning. So that's why I felt really called to do this spread and to do this reading because I just feel communication. If you want things to change, you're starting to see that. Hold on, let me let this motorcycle go by. You will see that nothing changes if nothing changes and you both have been guided to be the change that you both seek. So, hold on. A blessing that will appear this month in October or whenever you're seeing this. I'm going to be using the Everyday Witch Oracle by Deborah Bleak. So a blessing that's coming with Connect with Gaia. I'm really just feeling something that has been planted months or even years ago is going to come in to fruition. Because you have learned from your life, you have learned the life's lessons, and you're ready to move forward. So your love life is ready to move forward. You're not afraid to speak your mind. You're not afraid to speak your truth. And you're also not afraid to hear the truth from your person. Maybe in the past you both were closed off to wanting to hear what the other one has to say. I'm really just feeling not wanting to take responsibility for either things that you have said and done or what they have said and done. Both being in the ego energy of being stubborn. What I'm getting now is that this blessing is very simple. You want to accept love unconditionally into your life. You're starting to put out a different type of energy to call in a love counterpart that is a match to you that mirrors back to you what you are wanting in your life at this time. So what I'm really getting is that in the past you could have had somebody that was in and out, wishy-washy, emotionally unavailable. Now you're wanting someone who is available emotionally who wants to be in a committed relationship, who is not afraid to be vulnerable, who is not afraid to express their truth, to express their feelings, to show their love. So you're setting the tone with your energy to bring in this love counterpart because you have made change and progress a thing in your life and you're starting to go with the flow. And I'm really just feeling the full energy with this card You've taken that leap of faith to trust that it could be this person that you're watching the video for, but you're also starting to see that you could be open to whomever spirit has for you. Because you have gone through this transformation and this change, which is bringing about this blessing of love, this love counterpart who is going to be a match. So just keep doing your affirmations for growth because what you have planted is starting to sprout. And I feel between Halloween and Christmas, a lot of you are going to be very pleasantly surprised on what comes in and who comes in. Next, we're going to get into where you can look to find the magic in your day to day. So where can you look to find the magic in your day-to-day -day life. The deck I'm using for this is the Fairy Tale Oracle by Lucy Cavendish. So the first card that's coming up is the Poisoned Apple Jealousy. So where you can find magic is in those who are jealous. Because people who are jealous of you, of what you have, that is because they are focusing on what they don't have and they're very jealous when they see someone have what they want. 
So if you have someone around you who is in this energy, how you can find the magic in your day to day is to pull away from this energy and not to be tempted by their apple to go back into this energy. So I feel this pertains to someone around you. This could be a friend, a family member, even someone you work with who was always that victim mode, negative Nancy, where now that you're in this higher vibration of positivity, you're just not in the energy to be in the energy of complaining, being negative, being toxic, um, being two-faced, gossiping about people. You have evolved from that. So what this is teaching you is to get more into the energy of the 12 dancing princesses. 21, which equals a three. So you want to get into the energy of enchantment. You want to be in the energy of enchantment so you can bring in the energy of what it is that you're looking for when it comes to love. You want things to bloom. You want things to blossom. You want things to be colorful. So you're walking away from this person, this energy, this old behavior of entitlement where Goldilocks, when she went into the house of the three bears where it was the porridge was too hot, it was too cold, but then she found it to be just right, but she didn't leave when she was supposed to and she got caught. So the story of Goldilocks rings true for some of you watching this video and it's just telling you don't look for things in others. Look for them within yourself. And the final thing you can do with Snow White with Purity this is number one, which equals um, something new starting, a fresh new start. Snow White is telling you to be pure, to be authentic, to be yourself, and to not settle for anything less than what you deserve. Next, we're going to get into how can you practice your magic for the rest of October to help call in this love relationship as well as just going with the flow for the rest of the month as we get closer to Mercury going direct and there's three other planets that are going to go direct too and then getting ready for Halloween. The deck I'm using for this is the Oracle of the Hidden Worlds by Lucy Cavendish. Returning home, number 44 which equals an 8. Transition, life between lifetimes, loving welcome. So you're just going to return home. You're going to return to your roots. You're going to find yourself is what I'm getting. And by finding yourself, you're going to go through a resurrection. A 32, which equals a 5. So there's going to be a change that's happening in love. There's a comeback, a rebirth, and a renewal, a reconciliation for some, and a brand new person coming in for others. There's going to be a resurrection, a renewal. Something new is going to start when it comes to love. And what this is bringing is the dolphin collar. 15, which equals a 6. Pure, joyful, friendship, loving help. So you're going to call in this person. Now, dolphins symbolize happiness. So this is a happy time in your life where you're going to be victorious. And you're going to find that love relationship that is a friendship with a lover, a very pure and innocent relationship. And it's going to be everything that you dream of. The Temple of Dreams confirms this. So you may be dreaming about a person, whether it's someone from the past, even someone from a past lifetime that you haven't met in this lifetime. I'm really just feeling your dreams are telling you what's coming. And you have to trust your dreams because your dreams are telling you, they're giving you this premonition. And with healing the earth with love, humility, and respect, this card is just showing me that this partnership, this new beginning that's coming, is going to bring you the wish fulfillment. And it's going to be everything that you want. So you have the world at your fingertips. I'm even seeing the world card from Tarot. That card symbolizes a new beginning. So you do have a new beginning in love coming. But it's just a matter of really just staying in the energy of receiving and allowing and just being open to how it's all going to fall into place. So I'm going to close out this reading 
with how you can build trust in your intuition. So I used two decks for this. The first deck is the Chakra Healing Deck, Personal Affirmations for Aligned Wellness by the Sage Goddess, and Positive Affirmations for Dreamers by Modern Love. So I'm going to start with the Chakra Deck, and I felt guided to pull a card for all seven chakras. So I'm just going to go through the deck, and the first one that pops up for each chakra, I'm going to read it. We'll start with the heart chakra, number 30, soulmate presence. There is a soulmate presence around you now, either in human or spirit form. You may have noticed more synchronicities recently, or you will begin to notice them soon. This presence is one that knows and loves you and is coming forward to help you heal some part of a broken heart. Let the light of this presence move into the cracks and tender places in your heart that need mending. Your heart is ready to be whole once again. The crystal is Kai Carissa Price, I think that's how you say it, and the herb is rose. So soulmate presence, this could be a soulmate, this could even be a twin flame. It's whatever label you resonate with or you don't, but love is coming. Your heart is going to be healed. Your heart is going to trust again. And love is coming. Next, we're going to get for the root chakra. Number eight, let go. Release negative attachments. Be centered in body, mind, and spirit. Remember that you belong within Mother Earth's embrace. That Gaia's life force is your own, it flows into you and through you, propelling you, sorry, propelling and protecting you, enshrouding you in peace, let Gaia hold what is no longer yours or in service to you. The crystal is jet, the herb is clove. So what I'm getting is that it's time to let go of people, situations, thoughts, patterns, belief, that no longer resonate with you anymore. In order for the new to come in, the old must be released. Next, we have the sacral. Number 14, which equals a five. Fives are about change. Unbridled passion. You are passion incarnate. Your seductive and sensual energy weaves your relationships with intensity, reconnecting you with the ecstasy of creation both within and without. Your soul is nourished by your desires, allowing you to manifest your deepest and truest intentions with enthusiasm. Let this wild, sexy energy flow freely from you. It is one of your soul gifts, cultivated accordingly. The sacral chakra of crystal is the Shiva lingam. The herb is licorice. So have unbridled passion for every single relationship you have with your life, whether it's love, friend, family, work, acquaintances. Go in each connection with unbridled passion. Go into your job with unbridled passion. Be intimate. Be vulnerable. Be open. Next is the solar plexus. 22, which equals a 4. Confidence within. The empowering light of the golden ray is yours to harness. It flows through your being strengthening you with its every vibration, leading you to manifest all you seek. It eliminates your inner joy and confidence, opening you to new levels of prosperity you may not have thought possible. Healing comes from your sovereignty and personal empowerment. Claim your possibility. The universe is smiling upon you and the sun is shining on you now. The crystal is golden healer quartz. The herb is cinnamon. 
Have the confidence to walk through life. Have the confidence that what you believe is possible. Have the confidence that you have what it takes to create. We have the third eye chakra, enhanced perception, 37, which equals the 10. Access your inner wisdom, hidden deep in the well of your being. Hear the whispers of benevolent spirits and see the visions of things yet unseen. When your intuition expands, your perception is enhanced and you are fully able to transcend duality in a multi-dimensional universe, we have access to many more tools and possibilities than we realize. Receive these gifts of clear sight and clear awareness. They are yours to work with and enjoy. Crystal is azurite. The herb is ibrite. So your third eye chakra is the window to your soul. It tells you how to feel. It tells you what to think. And it tells you what's true. Trust your intuition. Use your intuition to be your new perception. Throat chakra. Freedom of expression. 32, which equals a 5. Banish fear of judgment now. Let it constrict you no longer. Know that the expression of your highest truth is protected and supported by spirit. Speak your authentic wisdom with conviction and courage. Rest assured that doing so will bring you to where you are meant to be. Share your truth from a place of loving compassion so your words land with the intention you used to compose them. The crystal is lazulite, the herb is chamomile. So don't be afraid to speak your truth. Don't be afraid to express your feelings, to express what you believe to be true, and don't ever feel that you need to be silenced. Your voice needs to be heard. And sacred serenity for the crown. 46, which equals a 10. Invite peace into this moment and let it permeate your entire being. Choose serenity, especially in moments of stress. Align with an energy stream of allowance and ease. Where you allow everything to be simply as it is right now, without judgment or regret. Peace is your birthright. When you soften into serenity, you also give others permission to do the same. Become the living example of angelic peace that you wish to experience. The crystal stone is lepidolite or lepidolite, and the herb is St. John's wort. So find serenity, find peace. When you're in a stressful situation, don't let your ego take over. Take a moment, pull back, align to yourself and call in peace, serenity, say a little prayer, and you will feel the energy shift and not allow it to bother you. So with the final deck, I'm gonna use the affirmation deck. I'm going to pull an affirmation card for each one of the zodiac signs. So this will be for sun, moon, rising. I'm just going to read the affirmation. I'm not gonna bring in any interpretation, so just take it as it speaks to you. We'll start with Libra. I radiate gratitude. Scorpio. I am not too late nor too behind. A late bloom is still beautiful. Sagittarius. I have the power to uplift everyone around me. Aries. Through my own inspiration, I inspire others. Capricorn, I live every day to my fullest potential. Gemini, my vision shines bright when I quiet my mind and I let my soul speak. Aquarius, 
I have a unique gift to share with the world. Cancer, I am as resilient as the sun. I will always rise again. Leo, I allow myself to save this precious moment fully. Virgo, my existence makes the world shine brighter. Pisces, I enjoy the space between where I am and where I am going. And Taurus, I owe it to myself to do all the things that I dream of. I do hope this reading has brought you clarity and guidance on just what the energy of October is right now for the collective when it comes to love and what it could possibly bring. I just feel changing your perception, changing the way you see love, how you view yourself, your person, the way you call in, what you put your focus and attention on is really going to help you shift your energy to bring in the love that you desire. I do hope this reading has brought you clarity and guidance. If this reading resonated, if you like this reading, smash that like button, drop a comment below. You can also email me at butterflyintuition1111 at gmail.com. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I post a new video. If you're interested on booking a guidance reading or a guidance session with me, booking a story reading, taking advantage of my offer this month with the Divine Butterfly Mini Love Reading, the information to book is listed below. Have a magical rest of October or whenever you're watching this. Love and light to you. I'll talk to you soon.